Hello, in this video I will talk about the uh, arrays and uh, functions. So we have an array of integers uh, with, uh, with three elements, 6, 7, 8, and we would like to display them. So here I can have a for loop, okay, um, so for loop, and here I can say integer, um, so i equals 0, because index starts from 0, so we uh, we use starts from zero and then i less than uh, three because there are three character uh, three elements and i plus plus so here i will say um, printf okay printf and then um, each element is an integer percent d and let me put some space characters let's say two space characters and then um, so it is a and then index which is i okay so after display, displaying them let me um, let me put a print f here to go to the next line so backslash n okay um, so let me <coughs> compile it and run it Okay, we forgot to put semicolon. Compile it. Okay, semicolon again. Okay, now it displays six, seven, eight. But we would like to display this uh, multiple times. So let's put that in a function. Okay, so here I will say uh, void. And then uh, let me say display array. Okay, so the parameter is um, integer of arrays. Okay, integer of arrays. Um, so I can just take this one from here. So let me cut and paste. Okay. Um, so, as you see, we use three here, three here, multiple places. So let's define it uh, as a constant. Okay, so let's define it. So define, and the old, uh, old one, old value is uh, three, and the new one. Let me say um, count. Okay, so how many uh, elements we have? So here I can say count, and also here. I can say count. Okay, now after we um, cre create an array here, let's display it by calling this function. Uh, I say display array. Okay, and by passing, uh, I just pass the name of the array. That's all. Okay, um, so let me compile it. Okay, so. Okay, so here count is three. I'm sorry. So compile it. Okay, six, seven, eight. Now let's uh, have another. Um, okay, so let's have another uh, function to change the these values. Okay, so uh, as you see. We, we don't pass by value, we pass by reference. So A is the address location. So here, uh, let me say void, and let me name the um, function change. Okay, so I will just copy and paste this one, this uh, for loop. Okay, so the for loop is the same, so it iterates three times. But instead of uh, instead of printing it, I will say I will change the value. So let me say I and uh, what do we want to do? Let me increase them by ten. So plus ten. And so plus equals ten. Okay. So after that, I should have sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 
Okay, so we change it. Okay, so the parameter, we forgot the parameter. Uh, int 8. Okay, so in the main method, I will say change a and then display array again. Display array. Okay, so let me just do it easy. So let me make this so that you can uh, see it. Okay. Um, okay. So I hope you can see all of them at once. Uh, let me uh, compile it and run it. Okay, now it works successfully. 16, 17, 18. Uh, it changed. It is able to change the value because we are passing array as reference, not pass by value. And then it displays here. I hope this is clear. Have a nice day.